Um, speaking of sports, transitioning to what I believe is the greatest, the greatest trade, I don't know, event in sports is the NBA. And last week, they had the NBA trade deadline. And I love the fact that the NBA really, really shakes up in the offseason and before the trade deadline. Um, some notables were the Phoenix Suns got Kevin Durant and the Nets got Cam Johnson and Mikhail Bridges, which are two awesome players. Mikhail Bridges is a star. Cam Johnson is fire. Um, let's see, some other ones that people don't know about is actually the Bucks got Jay Crowder, the Pacers received George Hill, and George uh, Serge Ibaka among picks and another player. So that's a huge one. Huge. This one I didn't even know about until I'm looking at it right now that uh, Mason Plumley got moved to the Clippers. Mason Plumley was a great addition to the Hornets team this year. So that was a very, very surprising. Um, wow. Cam Reddish got moved to the, uh, the Trailblazers. I didn't expect that. Um, Thibault Trailblazers. Man, I mean, I'm telling you, man, I'm just looking at this. It's so funny, too, because John Wall was complaining about when he used to play for the Rockets and how the front office was horrible and it was a horrible culture, and they got him. Uh, they traded for him. So, like, that's going to bite him in the ass. Uh, Gary Payton got back to the Warriors. Gary Payton Jr. got back sent back to the Warriors, which is awesome because I feel like, I mean, he won the championship with them. And I feel like he should never have, have left. Um, but he's back, so that's awesome. Obviously, they had a good time with him. Uh, Mo Bamba is to the is to the Lakers. Now I guess the big one would be uh, the Lakers. Russell Westbrook got sent to the Jazz, and D'Angelo Russell uh, also uh, got sent to the Lakers, which I think he played with them before. Uh, so that's awesome. I think I think Lakers came out better by getting rid of Westbrook, adding Mo Bamba. He's a solid big man. He's not the best, um, but then adding, excuse me, uh, D'Angelo Russell because he is scorer. He's a scorer, and you need that. And because LeBron can't do it all at his age, period. Um, so, man, I, you know, I don't really do. And then I guess the big, big one is Kyrie Irving to the Mavericks. Um, I really don't talk a lot about sports in here, but I'm a big basketball fan, big sports fan. So th this was a really entertaining couple of weeks with the trade deadline. Not too much to say about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about the trades if you're into sports. Um, yeah, man, it's just fun. I, you know, we used to, Nate used to come over after every trade deadline and we'd play a couple games of 2K. He hasn't done it this year. Um, but uh, it's always fun to, to launch up a new 2K after the trade deadline and, and, and try out these teams and change, see how the dynamic changes and also to watch on TV, of course. Um, one thing, I will say this, though. One thing that I loved was NBA 2K this year. They did a, um, a package for $150. You buy the game and you get a year of um, NBA League Pass. And... As someone who pays for League Pass and it's like 30, 40 bucks a month, fucking clutch, bro. Like, it's a, du it's a dub. It's a win. Um, easily. One of the best video game purchases I've bought was that. Because I watch League Pass damn near every night. Um, it's, fi it's fire. 